Greetings Africa. Africa is bleeding. The very people who took your forefathers to slavery and brutalized them are the same people who designed your education system. Do you think they would design it for you to be better than them? Do you think they can educate you to be wise? The same people who treat your forefathers as animals are the same people giving you medicines and injecting you with most of vaccines upon vaccines you know nothing about. Do you think they intend to make you strong? More vaccines upon vaccines, medication upon medications. But our hospitals are full with youth suffering chronic diseases. And we are surprised. The same people who through subtlety prevent you from making your own medicines. The same people who demonize our herbalists through religion. And you are not asking questions. Why are we not allowed to produce our own medicines? These people who jump on your forefathers with weapons and took them away. The same people today are building more advanced weapons while our only defensive system is the blood of jesus you are not asking yourself why are they spending so much money building weapons if they are actually in for peace you see their military base surrounding you and you are not afraid the same people who drag your forefathers to slavery by force you see their military base surrounding you and you are not afraid do you think if any european or arabic nation or any of those nations which enslave our forefathers if any of them jump on any Africa country today, do you think someone would intervene? You lie bad. Up till now, Israel in relaxed mood, bombing the people of Palestine day and night. Nothing has been done about it. They are only talking about it in the news. Nobody will save them. They would have saved themselves if they had advanced military and advanced weapons. This should tell us that you can't rely on anyone for safety in this world. Ukraine messed up today. They are in the mess alone. Nobody will save them. Look at Russia. Russia is one country which has been invaded multiple times. They realize that there is no savior anywhere to rescue them. So they put all their resources into building weapons and strengthening their military for defense. And today, they are free. Africa is the only continent which is depending on others. While others are building defensive capacity, the best we build is church. Africa, someone who considers himself as your master, will never want you to be better than him. How would you live the fate of your health, the food you consume, the things you learn to become better? You leave all your fate in the hands of your slave masters, including your safety and security. Our education system is designed to lie to us. It is designed to program you and I to be dependent on them. It is to make us feel we can't do it. Recently, the leader of Burkina Faso, Ibrahim Traore, having conversation with the kids, he told them, they lied to us that our land is desert and nothing can grow. But we found out that it is actually a lie. Our land is actually fertile. Too many lies they are teaching you in school, so we will review the curriculum. Because the current one designed by the colonizers are full of lies. This is what Ibrahim Traore told the children. Africa, no Russia. No US, no China will save you when they begin to invade. Wake up Africans.